Love's Paradise. Cause we're spending most of our lives living in the foot of my paradise. I've been spending most of our lives living in the deepest paradise. Jaw after jaw, car after car, magic after magic, trap after trap. I don't know what Mocha was doing, but I don't even want to watch that crap. Cause I ain't feeling it, cause I know that he probably just sent a disco koala down in the fence mode. I guess I can't, I guess I won't, I guess I feast it off that poor, cause I don't want that on my field. Missing in the mode. Hey guys, how's it going? A little bit of a throwback there. <laughs> Flipmon 14 here. And. Hey guys, how's it going? Back here with another episode of Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, last episode we bought a couple packs and um, I dueled the Yugi a couple times. Uh, I finally figured out which pack I want and believe it or not, it's actually the one we were buying, the Relinquish pack. Yeah, that, that pack has a Legendary Ocean in it which I do want more of. Um, so to start this episode, yeah, it's this one. Cursed Darkness has a Legendary Ocean. So to start this episode, I'm going to buy the rest of the five packs that are left. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we get Thousand Eyes Restricts, one of Pegasus' most si signature cards. Um, but yeah, we already have one Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, long story short, if I, um, oh, we got a bad reaction, it's Uh, but if I get what I'm looking for, if I get, like, a Legendary Ocean, I will, you know, uh, be cool with that. But if not, oh, Command Knight's pretty good. Magic Arm Shield, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, if I get what I want or something, you know, that's pretty good, then I'll save it. But if not, then I will... Oh, good, we got it. We got Legendary Ocean. Oh, and Granadora. Oh, perfect, perfect. These are the cards I want to see for the Flood deck. Yeah, grant more Granadora, because I only have one. Uh, I think I have only one Legendary Ocean, and I only had two Sea Snakes, so that's perfecto. Yeah, we'll definitely save this. We'll definitely save this pack opening. Awesome. Another Grand Door. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so all we really need is just one more Legendary Ocean from uh, this pack, Cursed Darkness, and I think we'll be good, guys. We'll be good. Uh, our Flood deck will be looking a little bit better. Ah, Jellyfish. That's okay. That's okay. We still got uh, a, a lot of the cards I was needing some more duplicates of, so... Yes, we will head to the map, so that's good. Alright, so um, I'm not going to worry about saving right now. Let's just uh, see who all we can find here. Alright, there's Serenity. And uh, let me go to the big map real quick. Yeah, just so I see who all, who's out there. Some. to hear that uh, <laughs> and I say as I played the uh, Flood Mods Paradise intro oh wow so we have five people on the map here that's crazy yeah you see what I mean like you remember in the beginning of the LP when I said like uh, it can kind of be hard to run into who you want to run into like look at this like there's five different people on the map so what are the odds you actually you know, find the one person you're looking for. And there's actually another person on the map down here. So, yeah, yeah, like, that's one thing about this game that's kind of, um, uh, interesting. So we have two people we don't know. Yeah, right here and right here. 
I'm gonna go down here to the isolated part. Oh, it's Rex. Raptor. Good. Good. Someone different. Oh, like, you want to take me on? My dinosaur deck will, like, turn your monsters into fossils. Dude. But, uh, yeah, like... Like, as you can see there, there was, like, six people on the map, so... Yeah, it can be kind of hard in the beginning of the game to find, like, either different opponents or, like, someone you're actually looking for, so... Yeah, that's one thing about this game that's kind of... It's... I don't know. Well, it's interesting, I'll say that. Oh, okay, so we already got, uh... Sinister Serpent. Let me... Hmm... I just thought of something, though. Rex does run Gilosaurus, though. Let me send a pretty powerful monster to the graveyard. Not like the most broken monster. Let's send... This is just to play around Gilosaurus. Let's send Exit Cannon. Right. It's not the most powerful, but I've already got some darks in hand. And that way, if we draw Blackluster Soldier, we can play it pretty easily, so... Alright, what are you gonna do, Rex? Yeah, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Now go! Two-headed King Rex! Aw, oh, man. Those beginning episodes were so... iconic. And man, Two-headed King Rex is like, his attack in Duels of the Roses? Epic! Once again, guys, we were pretty lucky to draw one giant germ. And not two or three of them. Ah, those are some nice face down, Rex. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Orasha! Heavy storm. Negate attack. House of tape. Yep, bye bye. Alright, so I'll set this. And we'll switch the germs to defense. And I will set my to say the face down. Hopefully he tribute summons uh, his King Rex for something and runs right into my to say that'd be perfect. Ah, Wasteland, huh? That Wasteland's a good card. Helps you die those out. It's Jino feeding time! Oh, was that a special summon? No. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, because, um, I think he accounted, like, because I had Exed Cannon in the graveyard, he didn't want to let me special summon it, so. But that's good. That means he doesn't get two summons this turn. All right. And by destroying his 2 kid King Rex, he only gets one attack off this turn. Awesome. Uh, speaking of Thousand Eyes Restrict, the card we just pulled today, something I just thought of in this deck. You see how we have a couple level 1 monsters here? Like Sinister Serpent and Magician of Fate? I might want to add Metamorphosis to this deck. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. Uh, let's just set Spirit Reaper for now. Yeah, I might want to add Metamorphosis. Hmm, and Thousand Eyes are strict. That could lead to some interesting shenanigans. Ah, uh, you waste your attack, fool. But my spirit reaper cannot be destroyed in battle. Nice. Alright. Just need a solid monster. We'll be good. Well... You know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna... Hmm, what if he has another negate attack, though? Well, in case he does... Let's just, let's just enter the battle phase here. Attack. No. Damage step. There we go. Alright. Now I activate my shrink card. <laughs> go cut his monster's points in half. And my giant germ will barely get over your Kilosaurus Rex. And you'll lose the last card in your hand. <laughs> Ooh, red, red, ice, black dragon. Discard that. Yeah, check that out. Alright. Anyway, main phase two. I guess I'll set Magician of Faith. And we'll end the turn there. Your turn, Rex. Giant rat. That's understandable, understandable. 
Blackluster Soldier. Let's take Blackluster Soldier. Uh, usually I take Pot of Greed, but we do have a Dark and a Light at this point. Yeah. So let's take Blackluster Soldier, and hopefully he won't destroy the capsule over the next couple turns. Yeah. Yeah. Just use one Monster Rex. That's what I like to see. Alright, I'm going to take a drink of water. By the way, guys, in between the last episode and let's take, uh, let's take Shrink. Uh, yeah, in between the last episode and this episode, it just started like pouring, like it was pouring hard. Uh, so just letting you guys know, just a heads up, like if this episode ends uh, prematurely or just ends like suddenly without warning, yeah, that means we lost power. So. But it's, I'm very glad we got all the rain, though, because, um, yeah, it feels a lot better. It feels a lot less humid, so that's fantastic. All right. Good. He wasted his one attack on Sinister Serpent, so that's good. All right. Time to get our card. Ooh, and we got Jinzo! Woohoo! Sinister Serpent back. Now my capsule's shattered. Alright. Well, he didn't stop us with the trap last time. So, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, maybe I sh... No, you know what? Let's just go for it. I was thinking maybe I should have played Jinzo first. But he didn't stop us last time, so let's just go for it. Yeah, and I won't summon Jinzo, that way I can use Robin Co Goblin to discard this card out of his hand. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's set Sinister Serpent. Switch Giant Germ to attack mode. Alright, let's see if we can get in here. Black Lesser Soldier, attack! Oh yeah, looks like we're good. Now, use your special effects. Go, Black Lesser Soldier, use your special effect. Legendary Second Strike Slash! Yeah, you saw that, Yurabi. You're gonna need it, Rex. You're gonna need it. Legendary Second Strike Slash! Oh man, and imagine if we had a Mega uh, Metal Morph put to Black Luster Soldier. Oh, basically be GG. GG, man. Black Luster Soldier, so good though. Very glad we got it. Very glad. And we've been able to summon it quite easily, you know, the last two episodes. So that's that's some good luck. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? Ah, face down, monster, eh? Hey? How foolish of you. For now, Rex, you left yourself wide open. I tribute my sinister serpent that was face down to summon the Jinza. Nah, we won't do anything. Uh, so what I could do is I could banish his face down monster. But I think I'll use, yeah, I think if I use Blackluster Soldier's second effect, we should be able to win this turn, though. Well, maybe not now. Maybe not now. Maybe not now. Hmm. Well, we wouldn't have been able to win if I banished it anyway. No problem. Yes, actually, the effects. Alright, Blackluster 
Master Soldier. Legendary Second Strike Slash. So this will take 13. Uh, let me do some math here. 13 puts him down to 29. Okay, okay, yeah. I was just trying to think. I was like, uh, do I need to play Shrink here? No, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, 13. Cyber Energy Shack. Alright. Ooh, I think we can get exactly zero, guys. I think we can. Because if I damage step, yep. If I play Shrink on my own monster. Here we go. Nice, nice. Exactly 500. Alright. There we go. We win. Not bad. that we get 74 could have been better how how can i lose well you need to get good son you need to get good <laughs> uh let's see who all we can find now Someone new here. All right, let's pick, guys. Right or left? Right or left? Uh, let's go with left. Let's go with left this time. Is that someone different? Who is that? Who is that? Mako, my boy. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha! I've been waiting for an opponent to enter my home territory. You shall fall before my oceanic creatures. Let's do it, Mako. It's been too long. Big catch versus lesser soldier. All oh, man. Now that we got some more flood cards, I'm hoping to make my own big catch deck, Maiko. You're my inspiration, buddy. All right, let's do it. Can we get a little bit of the evening duel music? All right, Mako's up first. Let's see what he's got. Oh, Umi, right off the bat. Ha! Now you shall have to find my monsters underwater. Fear the power of the sea. All right. hand here so what I'll do is I'll summon X head cannon and I know this field lowers machines but but guys we also got united we stand there we go that'll put me over his great white shock yeah X head cannon double barrel shot blast By the way, what time are we at? Uh, 18 minutes? Uh, we can keep going for a little bit. We'll keep going for four or five minutes. And then if I have to, we will uh, pause in the middle of this duel and continue next time. Ah, Respect Play. I remember him playing this card uh, a while back. When we dueled it. Ah, Raijiki Break. That's interesting. That's a bit of a misplay by you, Mako. So, by Genki Break, I'm sure you guys know. Yeah, discard one card, destroy one card on the field. He could have just destroyed my X Head Cannon. I don't know why he didn't do that. But now that I know my United We Stand's no longer on the field, because I was going to set Spirit Reaper, that way it'll boost him some more. Um, yeah, I'm just going to tribute for Genzo. Now that I know, you know, I know Jinzo will be weakened here, but yeah, now that I know you got rid of United We Stand, I mean, yeah, this is the way to go. And it's a good thing I did that, because he had Jellyfish, which is at 1,700. I would have only been at 1,600 with my ex head cannon. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. Thanks, Mako. Bit of a misplay by you, but he should have just destroyed X head cannon, because, yeah... Alright, we got the warrior returning alive. Let's go ahead and summon Spirit Reaper. Get a card out of his hand. Let's do it. Sigil Sai. Now one of your cards from your hand will be sent to the afterlife. 
kill spirit re hunting souls. Ooh, and we got rid of the skill shell. That's good. Because that can boost his water monsters. Side the energy shockwave. Alright. I'm gonna get a drink of water, guys. Salvage, that's always a good call. Yep. Yeah, probably play Mama Grizzly. Oh no, jellyfish, okay. Oh, oh, Spadudios. Here it comes, guys. Mako's boss monster. No, I activate Fortress Will. Oh, ha 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 ha. Fear my oceanic monster. Fortress Will, bombarded mid barrage. Ha 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 ha. Meet the ultimate creature of the deep. Ah. You may have the ultimate creature of the deep, Mako. Guess what? I have an ultimate card. Everyone knows water monsters are weak to lightning. Go! Lightning Vortex! <laughs> ah, how appropriate. Now I summon... Thump! Genie! Fashion! Alright. Do, 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 do. Go, my genie! My wish is your command, and I command you to deplete his life points. <laughs> Jinzo, Cyber Energy Shock, and now Mako's got nothing. No cards in his hand, and the only cards on the field, well, the only card that matters is Umi. I'm going to switch Spirit Reaper to defense, but he doesn't have any cards in his hand, so it's not really worth it to attack him directly there. Uh, I stand corrected. He has cards in his hand. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Well done, sir. Well done. That was a good top deck. Let me tell you. At what time are we at? Uh, 22 minutes. Uh, let's see. Uh, I should be able to win this turn. Let me try Night Assailant in attack mode. I know he can search with Giant Rat, but usually... Oh, he didn't even play Giant Rat. Well, we definitely win then. Okay. So I was getting ready to say, like, I know usually the AI will search, uh, like, Fiend Kraken off of Mama Grizzly. That's why I went for it. But, like, he... he what he should have done, obviously, there is, you know, set Mama Grizzly when I destroy... You know, these by battle just keep summoning uh, Mother Grizzlies to my weaker stuff's up, but yeah, we win. Alright, Mako. Looks like your C deck floundered. Haha, <laughs> get it? Though I lost, I fight with the honor my father instilled in me. I'll win next time, Flood. Ha 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 ha. All right. Yeah, and we're at 23 minutes. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.